Now from the Columbia Basin, your local news source, this is iFiber One News, presented in high definition. The number one source for real-time local news, local sports headlines, and our very own Weather Center forecast covering the entire Columbia Basin. With your iFiber One News team, reporting news in real time as it's happening. From the iFiber Communications HD broadcast studio in Ephrata, Washington, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. Welcome to iFiber One News. I'm Sarah Brewer reporting news from around the Columbia Basin for Thursday, October 10th. Tonight, we report on Moses Lake's progress with budget changes and a Navy plane making an emergency landing at Grant County International Airport. In sports, Bob Kirkpatrick reports on Big Bend Volleyball and how the Sounders are doing. Our spotlight story tonight is about a group that wants to make Soap Lake public beaches a little more accessible. And we have the latest weather forecast for the Columbia Basin from the iFiber One Weather Center. Our top story tonight, Moses Lake won't be shutting down the Moses Lake Museum and Art Center this year. City Manager Joe Govinsky said city staff moved money from other portions of the budget to deal with a $500,000 deficit the city expected following the settlement of a three-year dispute between Grant County and REC Silicon on property taxes. The city had to refund about $800,000 in property taxes and didn't receive an expected $2 million in property taxes. In reaction to learning about the settlement, the city stopped hiring and began looking for other ways to cut costs. Officials managed to cover most of the deficit, but were still looking to cover an additional expected $500,000 shortfall. Gavinsky told the council in June the city could be looking at closing the ice rink and the Moses Lake Museum and Art Center as a way to cover the remaining shortfall. The city managed to find the funds to continue operating without any closures this year. City staff are still compiling the 2014 budget. Gavinsky said, we've put the bits and pieces together, but they haven't been compiled into a complete budget. I don't know if we've done enough with what we've done so far. City staff plans to have a study session prior to the next city council meeting on October 22nd. An EA-18G Growler jet that made an emergency landing at Grant County Air International Airport yesterday. The jet pilot reported a fire warning light turned on after leaving Naval Air Station Whidbey Island, says Greg Beckin, port security manager. The pilot called Moses Lake Airport traffic controllers at about 1.03 p.m. and was cleared to make the emergency landing. Our firefighters responded to the aircraft as soon as it landed, Beckin said. No fire was detected. It was unclear if the warning light was faulty or acting properly, he said, adding Navy mechanics would examine the aircraft to see if any signs of fire were visible. The aircraft was parked on the ramp in front of the airport terminal Wednesday afternoon. Growler jets are typically used in electronic radar jamming warfare. No one was injured when a freight train struck a hay bale stacker yesterday afternoon. The collision occurred at a private crossing about a mile west of Wilson Creek when the BNSF train caught the rear of the Stinger stacker at about 4 p.m. The collision caused minor damage to both the train and the stacker, Grant County Sheriff spokesman Kyle Foreman said. Apparently, it caught the very back portion of this piece of farm equipment, he said. The train was delayed on the tracks until at least 5.30 p.m. Foreman said any further investigation will be conducted by BNSF since there are no injuries. Each of the people you see here has warrants for their arrest and is wanted by various law enforcement agencies. If you see any of these people, the DOC asks that you do not attempt to detain or apprehend them, but to call police. You can also call the Department of Corrections at 509-764-6180 during the day or 509-762-1160 after 5 p.m. We'll be back after these messages with the latest with, from our iFiber One Weather Center, sports and more news. <laughs> 